Welcome to Crazy Downs, 10 minutes less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. I start time to get down to business. Boom. Uh, TNT. What? So, what do you got? For people who may not be aware, I'm not aware. This is a two parter. So, Jeff Bezos has a big old yacht. <laughs> we got to talk about the Bezos yacht. And for people who don't know, <laughs> I don't know what country it's built in. I don't remember. 450 million dollar yacht. <sighs> Wow. Wasn't that right? It was something like that. It was really It was a $450,000. No, yeah. a million probably. No, all right. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. No, so, 450000 doesn't seem like a very big boat. That's not a big boat. So anyways, he built it in this harbor, and in order to get it out, he knew for all along that the bridge that's right there, you, they would have to take the bridge down. Mm -hmm. And they took the bridge down one other time back in the day, and they said they'll never do it again. But he's offering to pay to have it taken down and put back up. Uh, which is ridiculous that you can do that. I'm looking up how much his yacht was. Right. And, well, wh and why like, why build it there if you know you're going to have to do that without getting the okay first? Then you look like a giant douche who's like, hey, I'll pay, pay the money to take it down and put it back together. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll d inconvenience the entire city that I'm in by taking this bridge out of commission for however long it takes. Now, if he could say, I'll pay to have it done in 24 hours... Like, whatever that takes, the amount of manpower it takes to take yeah, it apart and put yeah, it back yeah, together, yeah. then maybe. But anyways, that wasn't my point. It is a $500 million yacht, by the way. A $500 million boat. Yeah. A boat. Yeah. Just to sail the seas. Just a boat. When the financial markets crash, he'll just be out in the international waters and no one can arrest him. He'll just be hanging out with his... Yeah, you know the implications, Jonas. Yeah. yeah. There's <laughs> implications when you're out in international waters. Yeah. So, anyways... But what, well, first off, I guess, what do you think about that? What do I think about him having a $500 million boat? Yeah, and that he, he wants to, like, he thinks he's so entitled he can pay to have a bridge in a city taken down so he can get his boat out. I mean, okay, so how do I feel about him having a boat? Whatever. Yeah. Fine, have a boat. Uh, what do I think about the, him tearing a bridge down to get it out? I guess what else can you do? <laughs> <laughs> not build the boat where you know the the you're gonna have to take a bridge down to get it out yeah i feel like whoever made the boat or put the boat in that water to have it built they are partially to blame like honestly if what if somebody was like oh you know you want to buy a new car jonas yeah and then they're like oh actually we can't get it out of the garage door uh at the dealership sorry <laughs> right. uh, but you know it's your car now congratulations but i feel like he knew that from the start that it wasn't going to fit under the bridge i mean uh, it, that may be the case that may be the case but if he didn't then it's that, a fu he spent 500 million dollars on it he knows how big the bee's gonna be yeah but you think he really knows like the international rules and regulations about like the size of a bridge versus the, and that the is my point he is so out of touch with reality <laughs> that that the thought of i mean yeah it's a but the no thought press, he's out of touch of reality. The thought that he he the thought that he's just like, oh, it's fine, we'll just take the bridge down is his thought process. No normal person would think that. I think that every person who has ever purchased a boat was like, Oh, I'm gonna get this boat, I'll take the boat home. Obviously over a waterway. I don't think his method of thinking is too too far from the norm, honestly. Yeah. I maybe. feel like if you buy a boat, nobody's thinking like, all right, now how the hell am I gonna get this boat home? <laughs> he was like, I'll just sail the boat out of here. Yeah. And then they're like, Oh, sorry, the bridge is too low. That's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. That's a problem. Like, well and like I said, I feel like the, the real issue is that the company, whoever made the boat or whoever he bought the boat from, they weren't forthcoming with with the information to him. Well, I said this was a two-parter. I heard about the follow-up to this already. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, there was a, whatever country this is in, I don't even know what country mm -hmm, it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There was a online Facebook group or something that was like, hey, who wants to get together and throw eggs at Bezos' boat? <laughs> and it, there was, I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but could you imagine like a thousand people just standing on the edge of the dock just throwing eggs at this dude? They're not all going to get arrested. <laughs> All right, so y'all hating. Y'all just ha stop hating. Look, and this isn't just because I stream on Twitch occasionally, and Bezos is 
kind of my boss, you know? But if Bezos, he was paying you on Twitch, then yes. I, I mean, you know, hit me up. <laughs> Wait, Be- you getting checks and you not telling me? Hit me up, BZ. Hit me up, Big Are BZ. you an affiliate and you didn't disclose it to the Crazy hey, Town compound? You never know if enough <laughs> people catch this video. Uh, yeah, y'all hating. I don't understand why you want to throw b- b- eggs at. This is like the same mentality of those people that see a Tesla and like, I'm going to key that Tesla. How dare you have a right, Tesla? Just, right, right. I feel you. I've no. never had that degree of hate. Me neither. And I don't maintain it even with this story. And I know this is the perfect story because, oh, my God, he's so rich. And it'd be so easy to just punch up and make fun of him for whatever. Yeah. And fine. You, you have a blast now. Do what you want to do. Yeah. Y'all hating. Let that man live his life. No, I feel you. Because I like I, I know a lot of people, yeah, they see a person in a Lambo or Ferrari or something. And there's people around Austin. Austin has some rich mofos that live here. Yeah. I've seen Ferraris. I've seen a Lambo driving down yeah. a road. Or a big ass truck that's ridiculous. Yeah. And people will hate. They'll be like, oh, that dude in his truck. Or he's trying to say he has a small D or whatever. And and I'm like, Yo. maybe he just wants a fancy ass car because he has Yo. money. My thing is like, look, man, Bezos has billions of dollars. But yeah, he still got a divorce from his wife because he couldn't keep his D in his pants. So millions of dollars couldn't keep his marriage on, on the up and up because, you know. Yeah. He's still a guy. He's just a guy. Yeah, you got a million dollars, but it does not necessarily mean you're happy. It means that you can live comfortably. Yeah. It means that certain things that me and you and everybody at home might not have to worry about, he doesn't have to worry about. But it don't mean you're necessarily well, yeah, happy. A lot of times. He's still got the same thoughts in the back of his head that that torment us at night you right know? so well and a lot of times people with that much money have really awful social interactions because they don't yeah. know how to they don't know how to be normal yeah, with it, people it opens up a whole a whole new set of issues of is this person being nice to me because they just like me as a person or is everybody being nice to me because they're like maybe i can get a handout right exactly oh exactly it, it it's a so. whole other well they you know and that's why they, people will say like um <clears throat> you know like rich spoiled trust fund kids you know yeah, like yeah, yeah. they don't know any different they only grew up with what they had and if someone like handed them everything they wanted and never told them no they're only a victim of their environment they can't help the way people around them treated them growing up influenza uh, no affluenza is what they yeah. call that and like it's you 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 just think that's normal and then you go somewhere else and you're like whoa everyone else doesn't have this crazy stuff that i have yeah, going that's on. big facts and i'm not trying to cape for for the rich man oh Believe no absolutely me. Not. Yeah. I, I, you know what yeah go throw eggs as both if that's what you want to do <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to cape for him because believe me you know? i don't feel sorry for him in the slightest no i don't not at all because you got it get out of here the same way of like i say if i bought a car and they wanted to charge me a get it off the lot fee fine yeah Let's get it off the lot he got enough money to have therapy every day to fix his, his mental problems. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. You know, it's so funny because, like, uh, they were talking about uh, Kim and Kanye, and you know, they they've been going through their marital issues, which I guess that's that's come to a close. But they were like, uh, for Valentine's Day, Kanye sent her a like a freaking Yukon full of like roses or something, and it's like, what do you get a person who has everything? What do you get somebody who's been rich their entire life, their entire lives, Mm -hmm. that money just doesn't even like the price tag on a certain thing isn't going to impress them? Because price tag to me is everything at this stage in our lives, because that's all we know. How much is it going to cost me to buy this thing? So what do you get a person who who has everything, a sense of normalcy? Something that brings them down to earth. Something that has like real heart involved into it. Yeah. So for Bezos, a boat, and it's not going to hold the same impact as something that something like eating, drinking coffee at a cafe and not being bothered, or yeah, you know, something like that. Just some something simple. Oh yeah, that man so, can't go to Walmart. Yeah. So you know lot, what I mean? He yeah. ain't going there to pick up some toilet paper. Yeah. In a lot of ways. He envies the life that we lead that we lead to a certain extent. Right. He doesn't he does not envy our bank accounts. No, no. right. None but of the them envy time, our bank accounts. I it's like I have enough money to pay my bills. And hey. yeah, do I want more money? Absolutely. Yeah. But you know what? I have an attempt and an autonomy to go to like the store 
autonomy and anonymity. Yeah, exactly. Like nobody knows who the hell I am. While I'm walking into the bakery. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And like, you don't. You don't even think that's a problem until it's a problem. Right. Everybody wants to be famous until they don't realize being famous comes with caveats yeah, people, that are not all positive. A lot of people say, "I'll take the money and not the fame." Right. That's why people who are like, who are like uh, the people you're like, oh, the guy that did that company, and you're like, mm -hmm. I don't know who the hell that is. Yeah, he's a billionaire. You're like. And that's he yeah. has the best life out of anybody. Yeah, yeah, He's got yeah. a billion dollars and no one knows who the hell he is. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazytown.com. Subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.